Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Totem on the left and Sean on the right. We are in the finals, the last week of the Kyber Cosmic League. This is the last match for these players. Totem. We've got four back toy drones and DGS 047. On the other side, Sean with two 104th Squadron Battalion pilots, uh, the Arc 170s, Warthog, and CLT Plo Koon. What do we got on Warthog? Diamond Boron 5s and Clone Commander Cody. Looks like the probe droids got dropped. So Totem is going to look for early target locks. Hopefully before he engages, allowing him to calculate before the actual shooting starts. Close down here at the bottom, threatening to come in, but I think he's gonna he's gonna bank to the right. He's He's done his job. He's kited. He's given some angry glares across the battlefield, but I think for the most part, this is going to sweep up and to the right. I'll take a second to appreciate those beautifully animated HMPs. Right, here comes the probe droid moving in the system phase. We'll see. The, the nightmare scenario for a probe droid is to get destroyed before the HMPs are allowed to take their locks. Nickel City. Greg is in the chat. What is this nonsense? This is Kyber Cosmic League. Four forward from yellow. So they're, they're saying, Plo, if you want to turn in, that's fine. We're going to be waiting for you. And yeah, this, I mean, this could be that nightmare scenario where yellow may only have a shot into the probe droid. Same with red. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, the, the perfect probe droid placement is a thing of beauty. Plow gives himself options, and he opts to barrel roll right. Could still turn in. Still a threat. Red's going to take that range 3 shot into the probe. Three dice, two hits, three hits, natties on the first shot of the game. Two evades, takes one, and that is a dead probe droid. Oh my god, Last the last game, we saw two probe droids get killed. Is this going to be another one? Alright, back to dials. I'm going to grab something from the kitchen real quick, I'll be right back.
So he does launch that second probe droid. Is it on red? Yeah. So that should be... It. Well, he gets to range it. Uh, he gets to move it in the system phase. So we're going into the engagement next round. So bets are going to be closing. Make sure to get those bets in. Ooh, 22 so far. How much time is left? Nice. Blue's in a weird position here. Can't quite get turned around. The banks for HMPs aren't super great. Two bank. It's about the best you can do. Five straight. Wow, they really want to nail down Plo Koon. Which of these has discords? Yellow and green. They're in the back here. Gonna reach for a lock. Too hard from Brown. Decent amount of coverage there. And it kind of covers whether Plo goes left or straight. I mean, he could obviously just dodge out of there. Ah, that's good. Um, opts to spread the target locks a little bit. You don't need more than probably two per ship. He's got one on Plo so far. Yeah, I had to go three straight with blue. Get around that rock. Blue locks the uh, yellow arc. Bank out of green. Look at that. He's got <laughs> he's got a lock on every ship now. Maybe that spreads out a little too thin, but we'll see. No target lock from yellow. I think he wants to keep the option open of throwing a discord. It, it seems... Yeah. Plo's not going to come in there close enough for that to matter, but I that's probably the, the thought process there. Banks away. Barrel roll boost from Plo Koon. Nothing for Plo to shoot at. Can't get the uh, probe droid. Warthog going to start us off. Two dice into the red Bactoid at range three. 2v2. One hit. And he hits. Blanks from the HMP. Well, hello there. Oh, he's shy. It's fine. We'll give him a second. Uh, Arc 170 shooting hit crit. Into a focus. And there are no focuses out there. Two more shields down on the red HMP. The last arc. This time with a focus. Fire converge those two blanks if 
focuses for two. Takes two on red, and that's half points. Down to three hull. Shooting long range, I think, into Warthog. Yep. Uh, one hit. Range three, two dice. Blanks out. Takes one. Range three into the yellow. Arc 170. Gets a reroll. One hit. One hit. Spins the calculate for two. Maybe it would have been better to just focus fire yellow. The yellow arc. One of eight takes one. Hello. Is this a... Hexite Gaming stream, Captain Stream. Hold on now. That that's over now, right? The uh, yeah, the it's over. PvP is over. I wanted you to uh, win the thirty thousand dollars anyway. It's the qualification round is over, like the big tournament. <laughs> Look, if you get in, you'll yeah. win it. Maybe if I win the thirty k, I think I'm gonna buy Hexite Gaming. You think you could buy this with $30,000? <laughs> well, could I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's no question at all, right? <laughs> but let's see. Um, the way the qualification works, like with our wins, we got raffle tickets. Mm -hmm. And then we threw the qualifiers for the main tournament with the tickets. Ah, okay. I don't know, Let's man. Hope. Like I, the, the last people that I, I lost to, they all had you know, tw level 20 and above units, every yeah, single one. So it's like, if you go into the people who are actually winning PvP a lot, I don't know that we compete. <laughs> I don't know that we are strong enough yet. I mean, we can play smarter, right? Like, there our games go. today, like, we, we won with our brains. Good <laughs> flanks, good formations. Now, it's a ton of time, um, a ton of fun today with yeah. PvP. It was super cool. PvP is great. Once we get partner, mm -hmm. we'll play some more PvP. <laughs> Only PvP. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, oh. now that everybody likes this X-Wing stream, we're not playing X-Wing anymore. <laughs> I mean, we've got PvP on the screen right now, right? Yeah. So, it's the same. Same, same, but different. HM PvP. Oh. Huh? Yeah, huh? Man, Totem... Just really doesn't like Plo Koon. <laughs> I feel like the the story of the uh, the first twenty five minutes of this game is him fifteen minutes of this game is him going for Plo. It's like really yeah. you don't want to get an arc off the board. I mean it's a bad tactic, right? Like Plo is like the ace in this game, and if you can kill the ace quite early, your opponent has no end game finisher anymore. I guess if I mean if you're a three dice native arc or a CLT plo, I don't know. Just just take the arc off. Kind of true. Like it's the easier target, but still in the end, if you have like a full healthy plo cone, even with CLT alive, they can do some serious work. Like I'm pretty sure I saw a game on GSP like in the beginning of the year. Uh, where um, the enemy killed the Anakin, 7B Anakin, quite early. Mm -hmm. And there was like only the CLT Obi-Wan left. And everybody was like, GG, game's over. 
<laughs> but then Obi Wan was like, "No, not with me, right?" Like he was dodging arcs, aligning his bullseye, king ship after ship. Yeah. Like in any game scenario, like CLT bullseye in a ship five aces. Oh, and here's the block. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> Plo Koon is the hardest to to lock down, and actually um, make sure you can shoot. I mean, it's a little easier with these 180 degree arcs for sure. Yeah. Um, but all right, he gets the block. Yep. There's not a whole lot there to capitalize on it. I think it's brown and yellow. Yeah, Ooh, here comes like the Discord. a good block, but like, yeah, blue and green out of range, I think. Yeah. That's not too great. A very good Discord here, well. All right, Plo's going to shoot. He's got CLT on brown. Yeah, the accidental CLT on brown. <laughs> no way. He planned it. But he's going to shoot long range into yellow because he sees uh, focus fire there and the ability mm -hmm. to use um, fire convergence. Spends a force for two. Ooh, spinning the force. So He's believing in his defense dice. Mm-hmm. Factoid. Takes two. No, that's that's right. Yep, the yellow one takes two. I've I've I think I've seen all of the HMPs today, and eh, not all the named ones. So now I gotta run back through. Which we're on Bactoids here. We're not on Geonosian prototypes or Separatist predators. Yeah, one of the hump ships list made top eight, I think, in Ryloth. So when. Pretty far into the tournament. Yeah. Johnny's um, list has run twice on stream, and it's very <laughs> impressive. Yeah. Oh, and, and here I have some good rolls. And I know Atreides like has the, a lot of great things to say about his uh, mm -hmm. all-HMP list as well. The Ryloth version was only four humps, but mm -hmm. lots of ordnance. Like, I think every hump had, like, two different missiles, cluster and concussion. Right. I think that's fire convergence. And of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, and fire convergence is working here. Two crits. Two crits. That's no enough. Deal. That's, yeah. It's a dead drone. There you go. Focus firing works. He took four, mm -hmm. five shots, four shots into that ship. And away it goes. Yep. Pretty good outcome here. And that's one shot less into block cone here, even with the great block. One hit. Uh, one hit. Not looking good for the umps here. That's the networked aim. Yep. Rerolls into and a hit. Accolade. Two hits. Alright, you got the block on Plo. Can you get the damage in? Oh, he's gonna get one. Yes, there's the shield. The shield. There's That's a start. 25% of the hit points. Gonna shoot into the yellow arc now. He has a calculate, so hit crit. So yellow not shields down. This is very big because the bus droids are attached. Oh so. yeah. Green now is the chance. One crit. Network aim. Still one crit. Just needs to get that through. Blanks and well, he's got a nah, he's never safe, mind. He's safe, yeah. Very yeah, good outcome here for for sure. Because that crit goes to the shield. Yep, absolutely. See if he can shake it next turn. These guys do have barrel rolls. He just needs to get into a place where he can actually mm -hmm. barrel roll. Could use the barrel roll. I could maybe try to get close to an obstacle on an enemy ship. Yep. So the um, buff cords get placed in the rear. 
Well, then you're still taking it on the shield, right? I mean, sorry. Yeah, you still taking one in the end phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then you can fly away from it. Um, so if you want to not. Hold on, let's. Yeah. Get this guy down there. You, you could do something tricky here with red. Like, if red can overfly yellow, he could uh, take the bus droids from yellow, you know, and red still yeah. has shields. I like that. So the interesting thing about the four Hampship list and Ryloth in the top eight, the person I think it was Corey from Australia, he was playing against Timo Rabe, who won the tournament. Mm -hmm. And in the last minute of the game, Timo was leading, but just barely. And on the bot state position, Corey had a very, very good chance to kill a very low health Dengar and win the game. Oh. But he was not counting the points right. He thought he was leading, and then he flew right. away. Uh, oh, and it was so heartbreaking because he had the win in the deck, most likely, like not 100%, but like 90%, right? Right. And oh, then man. he threw it away because he was not counting points. And oh, my heart. Fifty-three minutes left. Sixty-two to zero. Ooh. That's a one and a well, half. You take just as another lesson. Uh, at least while playing on TTS, you can always have like the Yespi link in the background and let the computer calculate the points for you. I guess that's a good point. Math is my least favorite part of X-wing. Yeah. I mean, if you're in the top eight cut of a lot of like very yeah, big tournament, yeah, like you do that, right? <laughs> See, blue down here has those repulsor lifts activated, so gonna be slipping to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very obvious slip. See that slip coming a mile away. All right, ready to go. No, no bombs in this list. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really fear for these Humpiers because with the primary cannon only, they don't have so much firepower. Yeah, I mean, in the list that Johnny was flying, there's there's two synced laser cannons, but there's two HMPs with just primary. So you're yeah, that's okay. Like like the synced laser cannons, still like a big threat. They're good, but I'm saying there's only two of them in the list. Uh, and the other mm -hmm. two are primary. So you've got more HMPs here. Um, so you're relying a little bit on those discords to do some damage. Mm -hmm. And then a whole lot of very good shots with rerolls and calculates. Oh, lots of side slipping here. Oh, yes. It's the bump, so that means those go to the back. Oh, yeah. Yep. Goes to the back. But red might run over that and put mm. them on himself, which wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, which would be yep. great, actually. Yeah. See, red still has shields. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get much. And now Warthog could fly forward. Yeah, let's <laughs> see. <laughs> Warthog? Buddy? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that fits the in the front big, on him. The big chain. I, I don't think so. That's, I don't think so either. Oh, oh, it, it does. It does. Warthog, oh. buddy. Not good for Warthog. You can't roll. So you're it's at least taking at two, unless somebody shoots it. Because yeah. you're taking one this round, and the next round, I mean, maybe you go over a rock or something to to stop the pain. There it is. Right, slow. Avoiding the block, but he's in the kill zone now. Uh oh. Let's see who who's got. Oh, that barrel is not avoiding the arc, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Could boost now, right? No, he's just focusing up. So green. 
has a Discord, would you throw it here? Do you say you, you could throw it on red? Maybe he is gonna do it. If yep. it can't be placed, it just blows up and damages red. Yep. Or whoever it lands on. Oh, doesn't land on anybody. All right. <laughs> wow, that is like a super wow, super <laughs> yikes. <laughs> I mean, it's still threatening Warthog in the next round, right? With the bubble bus mm -hmm. shenanigan. Ooh, gonna drop, or gonna throw a uh, Diamond Boron missile here. Who? Does he have a target line? Um, good question here. Yeah. Diamond Boron? Yeah, with the target lock. The game. Did it get eaten somewhere? Oh, it's under the base. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So green lost all three shields. They're not going to use that uh, second part of the diamond boron uh, because it would hurt the arcs. Three hits. Takes all three. Oh, man. Down to two. Long range here into blue. Obstructed. Range two. 3v2. Does not have fire convergence. Two eyeballs. Spin one, calculate, take nothing. Right now, the Republic is winning the damage race by a mile. Absolutely. Let's see if they can. You could shoot in the plow twice, yeah? Yeah. Oh, actually three times. Yeah, I think green's got a, a mm -hmm. shot there too. It's like only three health, so it's possible. And it's just that's like, a good man, start. Yeah. You need points. Oh. Force's blow to spend his focus token, his single one. Oh, and he's and out blow? of force right now. Yeah, no force. Range one. Networked aim. And the calculate. There's two. Gets one through, gets half points on plow. So close. Oh, it does have a range three there. Oh, that's four shots into plow possible. Hit crit, natties. Oof, triple evades. And the tyranny of green dice continues. He's gonna shoot onto Warthog here and try and get the uh, the shield down for the discord. Hit yep. crit. Well, you got it. <laughs> Maybe you can get the crit through too. Nice. He does. That's good. Kinda good. But man, Plo is so close to dying here. Yeah. You got points. It's fine. Weapons failure. Rip. Nice. And now we have the end phase, the bus droids. Direct, Direct hit. hit. Down to five half points. That does put totem up 59. Yeah. Sean's got 83, so 24 points between them. So Warthog is flying last, so he really has to try to get very close to one of the arcs next turn to get rid of the bus droid, to put it on the back of him. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, <laughs> that looks problematic for Warthog. You know what, this would be a good time to have Hawk. Mm -hmm. Take <laughs> a strain, barrel roll. Yeah. They do have a stop, don't they? I mean, I don't know if that's worth it, but... It's not helping, could. really. <laughs> I don't think it will help. 
this stuff. Um, it would mean you aren't taking two buzz droids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're taking shots and then and then you you what got weapons failure. Fight, right? <laughs> you're gonna, yeah, if you don't yeah. Fi if you fix that crit. I I think you want just want to point your your firing arc into a good direction for your friendly right. ships to use fire conversions. Because all uh, total needs here is four damage on Warthog. To finish him off with a bus droid. So not too bad of a round for Totem, but the problem here a little bit is like two of his drones are already very low health. Who's side slipping? Green and brown. Red might just move fast. Try and get in front of Plo. Plo, I mean, 5k. Come on, man. <laughs> nah, he's probably going to run. the HMPs doing no crits Put green on two hull I'm gonna side slip left all right totem is ready like the position right now for the Drone player, like blue can hide behind that obstacle and then side slip next round. Yep. Brown and red are kinda safe. Alright, here we go. Three hard from Brown. Ooh, I did not see him go in that direction. T turns his back on Warthog. Big disrespect move. He's maybe trying to catch Plo if Code decides to go right. Oh, what? Where is he going? Sending away. Don't they have the one forward? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of would have parked right behind that obstacle. I, I just... what What's going to be on the right side? He's uh, still hugging he thinks, He's still Yeah, maybe he Plo. thinks Plo is going to yeah. one hard right or something and bump. Yep. And, yep. Well, That's hey, like there you uh, go. the kill box he's building, right? Yeah. Also, right coming in. Oh, and Wadhawk stops. Okay, so he's just, he's going to sit there on that one buzz droid ah, instead of going across to him. Look at Bloco in here. Yeah, three forward. Oh, well, you can focus fire red, the red yep. arc. Still not too bad for Totem because he still has lots of targets here. And again, Warthog only needs four damage to kill him automatically with the buzz droids. Uh, hmm. Plo boost out of there. He he was still pretty close to that red HMP. Yep. But that's great. Bloco not shooting, not doing anything. Mothawk, he has weapons. So let's see if the players remember. Oh no, he should shoot brown probably if he wants to throw more than... Oh. <laughs> I, I was thinking about... Oh, he's going to go Diamond Boron. Okay. Yeah. Weapons Diamond Boron. Two. Well, you're guaranteed to hit. Oof. Takes two, and I would imagine he spends that extra charge. Yeah. Oh no, Green's never mind. Dead. He's, He's dead. Not dead. <laughs> Just keep that charge, like, baby. What for <laughs> killing a throne with weapons failure active? Like wow. So rude. Super rude. Shoot that probe droid. Shoot it. I shoot the boost. buzz droid. Yeah. Uh, maybe he was. No, if the probe droid was in range, then one of those buzz should have been. Hmm. T 
two hits <sighs> into red. Takes him. Down to one. Oh, boy. This this is slipping away. <laughs> yep. Oh, bring hot fire here on the reds. Oh, oh, I had this here. <laughs> the disrespect. No, just technical issues. Put a pauser. All right, the last shot is from yellow. Uh, that's really yellow as a target. I don't think so. Um, the yellow arc. Maybe one. Mm -hmm. He already. Maybe one. He checked it, but oh, he should really. Oh, Oh, so, so, so oh, he was missing. Okay, so it's all totem now and totem. It's only Red who has a chance to shoot into Warthog here, and I don't think he can do four damage alone. Nah. So it's probably focus firing Red here, maybe? But I don't like it. Hmm. I think Red should shoot into Warthog to. Increase the pace of water dying. Yeah. Oh, Totem gives him another chance. Did Yellow shoot? No shots. Oh, boy. Oh, Sean, shoot the droids. Even the little ones. Sonic Rain subscribes to me to, to let me know the Buzz Droid should be in the back of Warthog now. Because it can't overlap the other Buzz Droid. Is that right? I mean, the second Buzz Droid was launched after that, right? Well, they, uh, sorry, when he stopped, this mm -hmm. reattached and should probably go to the back because it can't overlap uh, another remote. You cannot overlap more. All right, sounds okay. Wait, 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 wait. After an enemy ship moves through you or overlaps you. So if you're stopping, you're touching it, but you're not overlapping it, right? Or you're not moving through it. Maui? I'm not sure about that, actually, like, but we can play it that way. Okay, they're saying nothing. Well, hold on. I swear I said he could stop, and Mike said then he'd still take one Discord. And now he's saying that stopping doesn't overlap. <laughs> hold on. My judge is telling me two different things. I think it stays in the front guide. And in the end phase, it's still touching at range zero, so it takes a crit. But what do I know? <laughs> you don't overlap or go over it, but you're still touching. Mm hmm. All right, so we have more shooting incoming. One damage onto red. One shield on the red. Range one. Oh my, three hits. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to read up on buzz droids. You cannot overlap an object this way. You cannot be placed at either set of guides. You and that ship each suffer one damage. So <laughs> what happens if two buzz droids overlap each other? 
Captain Adam. Da, da, da. I think you I think cannot it... overlap an object this way only counts when it gets right. relocated yeah. to the front in gear, right? Yeah, and yeah you're right. I mean, you can launch an, an Discord asteroid onto, uh, onto an obstacle, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think they're fine so, here. Overlapping objects only matters when you're relocating it on a ship. Yes. Yeah. Yep. We're good. 34 minutes left. See the red take anymore? Yeah, he lost two shields and took a hull. Told him doing some good damage here, but he's running out of troids very quickly. Yeah, red's on one. And then it's gonna be brown and blue. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what did Warthog oh boy. I think you overlay this back somewhere because I think green is not dead yet. On the overlay. How much does gray? Oh, yeah, you're right. There we go. Nice. So, pretty good lead here for Sean. And uh, Warthog can't stop again, so he's going to be overlapping both of these. Yeah, and Warthog, he took a Direct, right? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six out of eight down to two. Yep. So he's taking another one next round. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and even if he tries to go, you know, like range one of that rock or something, and yeah. they still takes one damage, damage you mm -hmm. if they can't be placed. Yeah, so pretty sure Warthog is dead without yeah, shooting next round, right? These arcs didn't help him out. They weren't team players. Yellow yeah, didn't shoot at the buzz wow. droids. <laughs> that yellow arc, he could have been a hero. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this game state so we can go back and look and see if he could have shot that. I'm yeah, pretty, pretty sure. sure right? Like one, two, three. Yeah. Oh man, clones. So rude. There's the two bank. That's 047. Have, have we even seen his ability? He shoots something in the front arc. He can take a strain to get a... No, he can acquire a lock. Bullseye, you can give it a strain. Okay. Mm. I don't know that I've ever seen the bullseye ability trigger, but... Yellow trying to help here, but I think it's too late. <laughs> K turn there from the red arc. Oh boy. That touches both. So one in front, one in the back. Which means Yellow could rescue Warthog here if he kills one of them, right? In the shooting phase? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit late, but yellow could be a hero. <laughs> He'll just take another direct hit. Oh, that would be quite rude. Range two. Red down to one. Oh, that's a crit. He's got one of eight dice and he knows how to use it. Five Come conversions, on. but nope. Yeah, no no arc there. Come on, red. Everything but a blank. Oh, no, wait, it's the blank. Why did you have to say oh. that? Poor, poor Totem. It's a direct even. It's like... You know what? When Totem killer. is looking at those Drainus alt arts and he's like, boy, I, I really wish I could have gotten that in the last round of the tournament. I'm going to say, well, fun walk. Denied you. It didn't deny anything. What's rooting for Totem? 
You streamer cursed him. Here's the weapons failure shot. Uh, there are no, no hits or crits, so he can't even use Clone Commander Cody. You know what? Take a fives focus <laughs> while you're here. Trigger that card once. Nope, Totem's not getting many evades at all here. He didn't even need the evade. He was only the thing he needed was like the Kekulate, the focus. Mm -hmm. Reside, right? Mm, all right. I think he's At got least... fire convergence on that. Yeah. Pretty sure. Two is all right. He has to evade way too late. Wrong ship. Shooting to the bus, right? <gasps> on. Yellow, please! Oh, 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 he really adds smart fog. Oh no. He's gonna win this match without Warthog. <laughs> I think Warthog, he did something to this poor cloned pilot there. Yeah. <laughs> They're really turning their backs on him. Yeah. Like, I think Warthog, he did something with his sister of Yellow. Oh, jeez. Like, <laughs> Salacious. I can't... Oh. Wow. Fuel leak on a red. Yeah, so red down to two. One crit could kill him. Oh. Ooh. Come on, Totem. Oh. Ooh. Was that two blanks into another blank? Yeah, poor Totem. At least the double bus works. So we see Mortal going down. Right in front of the eyes of his clone friends. Takes two. And somewhere in space, Mr. Yellow is giggling like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Get wrecked. <laughs> Yellow's out there with the focus. Maybe even had fire convergence. I don't know if it had been spent already. Uh, no, there's still a charge out there. Yeah. So uh... he could have saved Warthog, but he decided not to. Two turns where yellow didn't shoot those buzz droids. I think some sometimes people just don't look at those remotes and, th yeah. and see them as targets. They're just looking for ships to shoot. Yeah, I know. It's like it's like your reflex, right? Like in ninety percent of all your games, there's there is no remote to shoot at. Yeah. So the two crits were blinded and structural. So if he had just taken one, he would have mm -hmm. lived. Now he's saying it would have bought Warthog maybe one more round, but that. It's one more round of fire convergence, maybe? Yeah, that's big. One more round of fire convergence, maybe using Clone Commander Cody for his train? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. there's, there's some utility. Turns out, mm -hmm. Warthog, the lot, is pretty good. Pretty good. Maybe keep but it now around. It looks, it looks uh, a little bit difficult here now for Totem, but the points are very close because... Oh, yeah. Uh, red and Placon, half points only. Not only, already half points, I mean. <laughs> Red's on two, Plo's on two. Yeah, and Red is a very easy target. Like, if Totem can roll just a little bit better now. Oh, Brown was forgetting to flip his repulsor lifts. But no worries. There's the one bank from red. It's got a range one out the back. Ooh, look at what Rookie found out about the emotes. Oh no. <laughs> Halloween uh, modifications? Yeah. Oh, Let's boy. go. <laughs> Wookie time. Oh man. Doesn't get the block on yellow, so he takes a focus, gets a range one shot. How's the brown? 
lost a shield last turn. Okay. Plo, CLT, and that is not accidental. He meant for that one. Of course, he can only focus fire. Well, he could focus fire blue. Yep. Blue is full health, though, so he needs some very good shots. I mean, brown is down one. Ah, true, true, true. Oh, the pumpkin quad jumper. <laughs> Spins the focus for hit hit crit. Brown takes it. Crit on the hull. Direct hit. I Totem, what are you doing, my boy? <laughs> Draw those cards better. Range one out the back into blue. Spins the focus for two. One of A takes one on blue. Yellow range one shot. Needs three damage on brown. To pretty much decide the game. Four dice with a focus, very possible. No! 22! Brown will survive! Yep. On one. So he could kill red, and yep. then blue could shoot into Plo. I mean, there's there's a scenario where you kill two ships here. Yep, hopefully, but that's maybe the last and only chance Toten has, you know. Range one into red, one reroll. Oh, oh, there's two crits. The fuel leak is going off. He's dead. Right, so dead. That's a start. Yep. That brings the lead down to nine points. So if blue can kill Plocoon, we have like Hump versus Ark. <laughs> yep. The quintessential fight in the Clone Wars. <laughs> You remember that. Can you do it? No reroads though, no target locks. Oh. Just a simple hump shot. Oh, he's gonna go into yellow. He's uh, going to yellow! No, don't let Lokun live. Yes, one reroll, but that's not enough. Oh, calculate one hit. I think this was a mistake. You have to take the off chance to one shot Flocon here. Because now two versus one, I don't like the chances of that little hump droid. Yeah, half I points mean, in yellow doesn't help you because then both ships can shoot you back. Oh, he's gonna use his ability to get a target lock. Oh, and it's taking yeah, the target lock on Flocon too. Like, I know. Oh. I forgot for a second that he didn't shoot Flocon. <laughs> I was like, that's gonna come in the that's gonna come in handy next turn. Yeah. No. I think Plokun was also down on one force, right? Like that was a chance. Yeah. So repulsor lift forward, so no side slipping. Good. On blue, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brown's still here? You you keep acting like he's dead already. Oh, he's nearly dead. Just like don't write him off. I'm writing him off now. I know how Totem rolls this game. <laughs> All right, but still, like Totem. Oh, you you got so excited that you left. <laughs> So how do you protect Brown here? Can you? Like you have to side slip, right? Yeah. Because I kind of I think a four K is coming in from yellow, maybe. Mm hmm. I I guess so. Safest places behind these HMPs. Oh, I like this direction of the side slip. Getting yep. away from the Republic. Get the 4K. Yeah. 
Plow doing? We see the block and we see oh. the block again. Nice. Well, blue doesn't have a shot, but did block Plo Koon, which is good. Yep. But there are going to be two shots into brown. Yep. Two versus one. Two fours. Oh, I'm hoping for blanks. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I can guarantee it. That. Told you, everybody. Told you. So two versus one. <laughs> Funwalk gazed into the future. He knew. Yeah, like ships on one health. Like, oh, this feels so bad. Like, you're flying them another round, but there's such a big chance of them dying. One crit. The blue. <sighs> oh. Oh, no. It Again. Just hung on that evade. It yeah. spun around. And it then even has the calculate token. Over. Like, every recite is okay, but not the blank. Well, only 27 points needed. Half mm -hmm. of Plo Koon's 25. Oh, boy. Oh, just a couple of key evades here for Totem to make one of his ships living a little bit longer. Could have turned the game. Side slip past Plo, maybe a hard two or three. Probably want to stay close enough. Yeah, goes for it too. One straight there from yellow. Focus. Ooh, range one shot. Big 5k. Oh, and the CLT is lined up. Two force points available. Hit crit. Oh, man. It <laughs> spins a force point for two hits and a crit. Taking hit crit on blue. Going through onto the hull. Half points. Damaged engine. Well... Your two hard blues no longer exist. Arc 170, range one. Focuses for three. It's been the calculate, take two, or are you gonna save it to shoot? He's gonna take it all. Lives on one. Shooting to the arc. 3v1. Ooh! Save that calculate for that shot. Oh, well. Oh, and the BM evade from the arc. Hit crit. Fuel leak. 155 to 180. Sixteen minutes left in this these players' final match in the Kyber Cosmic League. I'm gonna I'm gonna be sad to see these Drainus Arts leave. They are awesome. All right. Sean's ready. Blue marches across the probe droid. I don't... It's saying he went over the probe droid, not the gas cloud, so... Yeah, okay. And let's see how long can Blue survive. Oh, man. Another 4K. He's got gas cloud coverage from that shot, though. Mm-hmm. And no mats for yellow. Oh! Oof. Does not get the block that he needed on Plo Of course, if he blocked Plo Koon, he wouldn't have shots, so. Yeah, I think mm. this, this, this is alright here, right? <laughs> Blue just needs fine. to survive and then shoots back. Range 1. Gets his target block. 
home. <laughs> well, yep, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Oh, Congratulations, Sean. Thank you to Totem for playing, and thank you to Funwalk for being here. Yeah, what's fun? That'll do it for this match. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming, signing off.